Great news for silver, and we heard it from Hecla Mining CEO Phillips Baker. They are the largest silver producer in the United States, over 100 years old. So to say that Phillips Baker knows a thing or two about silver, I think is an understatement. But what did he say that should have all silver investors, yes, that includes you and me, very interested? He talked about the future demand profile for silver and pointed something out astounding. I want to read you a statistic. 180 million ounces of silver. How much silver is that? Heck, that's almost 20, 25% of the world's annual mining production of silver. 180 million ounces of silver were used last year alone in the photovoltaics industry. What's the photovoltaics industry, you may be asking? Well, that's the solar panel industry. But what's even more astounding is that within the next few years, he thinks that number could be closer to 250 million ounces of silver per year. Where's all this silver coming from? Well, for now, we know there's a huge silver deficit. The mines cannot keep up with the amount of silver that's being demanded. What does that mean? Price fixes everything. But for now, they're playing a bunch of funny games at the COMEX. They're playing a bunch of funny games at the LBMA, and they're able to plug that gap with available above ground stocks, but that won't last forever. Because our friend Andrew McGuire over at Live from the Vault, he's pointing out some very interesting developments going on at the COMEX and even goes as far as to say that we could, we could be not years away, but months away from a point where physical demand overwhelms the paper market. But back to this solar photovoltaic, we'll use that fancy word from now on, us basement dwellers, I've got some crazy information for you about solar farms being built around the world. And again, every solar panel, when you're driving down the highway in your woody wagon with your family, you can look out the window and see that solar farm. You can envision a little bar of silver in each and every one of those solar panels because that's the truth. Now, if you don't have me with you in the woody wagon, you can always join me here in the basement. And it's always a big honor to me when you do that. Thanks for being here. Please give this a thumbs up and you can subscribe to the channel if you want to get new videos every day. Something interesting, something fun about silver, gold, and precious metal mining stocks. But let's head over to a crazy picture. This is a picture of a solar farm in India. India is building unbelievable. You probably haven't heard this but India is building unbelievably large solar farms. There's one that's on the border with Pakistan that people are saying is the largest in the world, but these things are absolutely massive. Now, I want you to look at each one of those little of thousands, tens of thousands of solar panels. And remember, each one of those requires a little silver, and that silver right, is only coming out of the ground at like a seven to one ratio to gold, number one, and there's not enough silver coming out of the ground to satisfy the demand for solar panels and the other demand sources that we have uh, for silver. Electronics, investors, you, your stack in your basement. Let's head over to this article uh, from uh, Wikipedia. Actually, I just did a Google search here. The Bahadra Solar Park is a solar power plant located in the Thar Desert of Rajasthan, India. It covers an area of 56 square kilometers and has a total installed capacity of 2,245 megawatts, making it the largest solar park in the world as of 2023. When I was researching for this article or for this video, uh, I ran into an article that talked about how some of these solar parks in India, right? The New Yorker, New Yorker a year ago, India's quest to build the world's largest solar farms. So one of these uh, solar uh, farms in India alone, one of them is bigger than Manhattan. Guys, this is huge. And think about this. 
does maybe, maybe this explain the astounding news that we heard about India and silver back in February? Hey, I want to say thank you to channel sponsor Pimbex, P-I-M-B-E-X, Pimbex.com, online bullion dealer. If you're looking to buy silver, gold, or platinum online, do yourself a favor. Compare Pimbex to your other options out there. I'll never tell you what to do, but I will recommend that you do some comparison shopping because I think you'll find what I always find. Pimbex has the best prices, great selection, and outstanding customer service. I consider it a big privilege to have them as a sponsor of Ron's Basement. So let's talk about what's going on right now in India. What's the latest data? Silver in India, February. India imported 70 million ounces of silver. Again, I beat this one into the ground, but that's almost 10% of the world mining production of silver being imported by India in one month. And we know India continues to expand their solar panel program. Phillips Baker had a lot more to say about silver. We're going to get to that after we say thank you to First Mining Gold, channel sponsor of Ron's Basement, gold development company in Canada, two multi-million ounce projects. If you want to learn more about First Mining Gold, reach out to Paul Morris, their director of investor relations. I will put a, a link to his email in the description of this video. And of course, our friends at Fortuna Silver. They also mine gold. They actually mine a little more gold now than silver, but they do both. They're diversified. They're an operating company with five great mines, three in Latin America, two operating mines in West Africa, and a super exciting development exploration uh, uh, stage project in Senegal, the Diamba Sud project. You can learn more about them at fortunasilver.com. So what else did Phillips Baker have to say? Phillips had something very interesting to say about the fact that, think about it, five years ago, the demand for silver from solar panels was minuscule, something that we didn't really talk about. And now it has grown into this massive, massive force. Also, when we talk about the deficits over the last few years, almost a half billion ounces of silver have been pulled out of the above ground supply surplus that exists. Nobody knows for sure how big that really is, but we do know one thing for sure, right? One of the things we love about silver and gold, it's finite. That above ground resource that they're using to plug the deficit for now, it won't last forever. You can't print silver like you can print dollars or electronic currency or anything else. Do you think it's safe to say that the price of silver does not line up with the underlying fundamentals? And there are all types of crazy things going on in the big silver markets right now. The COMEX and the LBMA. Will we soon see physical demand overtaking electronic supply? I think we will. I'll be here for you through it all. It's a big honor when you join me here in the basement. Thank you, and I'll look forward to seeing you, yes, you, again soon.